welcome to another deep dive with the Chicks on the Right podcast. Today, I can't promise that there's not going to be some snark because there's gonna be I know you're snark. in a mood. I'm in a I'm mood. In a mood. Yeah, I'm in a mood today. I'm kind of in a foul mood. So I'm probably going to take it out on some people that probably may not may or may not deserve it, like a little bit of my snark. I'm just in a mood. So buckle in, Same. everybody. Buckle in. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. And a uh, quick reminder to tell everybody to make sure to visit our friends at MyPillow.com slash, slash chicks. chicks. It's 40% off of the MyPillow squeezy kitten fur technology slippers and moccasins, the things that hug your feet in a bundle of love and warmth and yeah, they're so, so perfect good. for this season so perfect for this season mm -hmm. so if you haven't gotten those now's the time it's 40 percent off 50 percent off the mattress toppers there's no better time to get all the discounts on all the things all the discounts <laughs> all the things you guys there's so many things you could get too besides the the mattress toppers and the moccasins and slippers and cardigans and little mini pillows and i mean just every single thing you want to buy there so just go buy all the things buy them all all the discounts, oh. all the things. Do it. Mypillow.com slash chicks. Okay, so um, we're going to, we have to tread a little carefully, a little lightly. Do we? On, okay. Well, we do? <laughs> I mean, we should. We're gonna, okay, we're going we're gonna to try. We should right. because right. we're talking about children. And oh, when we right. talk about children, okay, we have right. to tread lightly. So uh, the reason that we're talking about children is because yet another prominent politician's daughter has taken to social media to counter her parents' viewpoints and, in general, act like a disobedient brat. Right, right. She is, um, so this is uh, Caroline Cruz. Caroline Cruz, you know, because we haven't heard a lot from Claudia Conway. It's been like a good year and a half, year, year and a half since we've really heard her about her what she's doing how she did with american idol i was expecting her her star to just phew, take off <laughs> were you? she was gonna be the next kelly clarkson you know we were really <laughs> expecting her to just really take off with her incredible singing voice and that didn't happen so we were all shocked and dismayed by that right so very very shocked and dismayed was, indeed this is my shocked face so i was very <laughs> shocked when that didn't occur. And so we've been waiting for the past year to see, you know, what's been going on. And we can give you an update on her, her in a second. But, um, but now the new um, politician's daughter du jour is Caroline Cruz, who is 13. 13. They're, they, they're getting younger. Very young. Very, very young yeah. indeed. Now, let's yeah. just take a quick trip down memory lane uh, oh, okay. to the first Sorry. time that we were ever introduced to Little Miss Caroline. Okay. And that was in a commercial for her dad's a campaign ad. And uh, they were having some trouble. There were a couple bloopers. This is the blooper reel of Caroline and her younger sister uh, trying to say, we what is it we are we approve this message <laughs> so, yeah it was super super cute it's so cute it was precious really cute. so here is let me make sure this is turned up here we go here's this i'm ted cruz and, and we, we approve, approve this message, message. <laughs> okay, a little bit faster though. that was good i'm ted cruz and, and we, we approve, approve this message, message. <laughs> i'm ted cruz and, and we, we approve, approve this message, message. And so they, <laughs> they were having they were having some trouble with their line yeah. Oh, Which was absolutely good. precious. Right. He's like, a little faster. Come on. Come on, girls. Get it together. All right. Get it together. And then they finally did it right. And it was really cute. And that it was, was her. Funny. So it, is, it, what's her sister's name? I can't remember. There's, there's. Uh, yeah, I that's can't remember. Hang on. Is it, I can tell you. I can tell you. It is Catherine. Caroline. Catherine. Okay. So it's Caroline and Catherine is the 11 year old. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So Catherine is the same age as my daughter. And then Caroline is the 13 year old. <laughs> going yes. on 21 it 26 seems, she's <laughs> right she's she seems a lot older and they're not that far apart in age but man what a difference a couple of years makes right um, oh yeah but for yeah sure. but, but she's she apparently wrote in her um tiktok bio and correct me if i'm wrong ma because you're a tiktoker i am not because i am anti-tiktok because yes. it's a chinese app <laughs> 
that steals your information and no children should be on it in my personal opinion. <laughs> but anyways, she wrote, you know, her pronouns, like she, her, and then she put next to that by B I. Mm -hmm. So apparently she is, she has come out much to the delight of the LGBTQIA XYZ community. They're very excited about the fact that this daughter of a, a prominent right-wing politician has come out and said that she is bi she's 13 <laughs> you know what i mean like like how do you even right. know you don't know right 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 you don't right. know you don't i mean know. chances are this girl doesn't even have her period yet you know what right. i mean like <laughs> or she right. i mean right. come on or she just started it and she's like i'm bi you guys i'm bi <laughs> Like I, you know, I mean, it's, she's I just, and I find it so I'm, I'm disturbed one that she's on this app. I mean, it's not my decision. I'm not her parent, but then two, that the vultures are coming in and they're like, oh my God, you, like from that community, they're like, you guys, she's, you know, she is she's by, she's right. And then they're, they're like, oh, let's embrace her. And her, she lets, and she's trying to break free from her evil father and who is a right winger, hates all gays. And I mean, <laughs> it's like the, the stuff that's like circling around this. I just, I find it all gross. It's just gross. All of it is gross. And I guess part of it to me is that I, I hate that she was out there to begin with to be exposed to all this not to, not exposed to the lgbtq stuff but just exposed to having her herself put out there where people could kind of grab at her you know yeah well and the, me... the mistake that she obviously made is that her profile was public, public. at the time mm -hmm. so and i don't know we don't know if her parents knew that she had a TikTok. we have no idea if ted mm -hmm. and heidi were aware of it or only became aware of it once it kind of exploded and shared a million times um, because now it's private now. And there are two accounts, by the way, uh, <laughs> she has one and then she has like a, a backup and now they're both private. And so it, I, how, why she's allowed on it. I have no idea. That's, that's obviously their call. Um, but clearly th th and the reason that I heard about this first was a couple weeks back when I think it was the Dallas Morning News or whatever that newspaper is. You would know better than me. The Dallas, I, da Dallas Morning News, I think. You're right. Dallas yeah. Morning. Okay. I think, so they yeah. had they had a, a write-up about this, and their headline was so ridiculous because it said something like, Ted Cruz's daughter reveals that she disagrees with her father. And it right. was like this giant headline. And I was like, it, nowhere in the headline did it say that she's 13. And I was like, find me a 13 year old who doesn't disagree, disagree with, their parent. with her father. Right. Exactly. I mean, and if, exactly. Because I, I mean, she's a teenager. So, of course, she's going to disagree with her father. Yeah. But they're trying to paint. Now they're trying to, now they're going to run with this. And since people, you know, hate right wingers and really hate Ted Cruz because he is so out there, he is, you know, one of the guys who's one of the most popular on our side of the aisle. They're going to paint this. They're going to take it and paint it as she hates her father and he must be doing something wrong for her to hate him. Or maybe she's just 13, you know, right? maybe she's just a 13 year old who is caught up in what a lot of kids these days get caught up in. And that is the social media bullshit that they get into and they see all the things and they hear all the things. And, you know, she happens to be in a, in a, a situation where frankly, you know, she has secret service, right? I mean, doesn't she have like some sort of. Yeah. And that's she actually has... one of the things that she complains about in her video, which we'll show in just a second. I wanted to share too, um, the Christmas card that was posted online because apparently there's this chick on Twitter who said, my aunt somehow got onto Ted Cruz's mailing list and can't unsubscribe. So every single year she gets a Christmas card from them. We are raging leftists. And okay, so, so that, um, wait, so that, wait the, just, to back, just to back up. So she's complaining about getting a Christmas card. Because well, her aunt gets the Christmas card. Yeah. Her aunt okay. gets it. Well, I mean, like, so what? They get a Christmas card. You know what I mean? Like, why would they complain? Well, about I that? think you she know? just posted it. She just posted this to like make fun of the photo because, as you okay. can see, the old, the elder daughter, clearly not happy 
right? Mm -hmm. Not happy at all mm -hmm. to be in this photo. No, <laughs> no. And it's not the only photo. So there was this one. And then there was this one where, again, she just looks miserable, miserable. Miserable. Absolutely miserable. Mm -hmm. And so this becomes, a, these photos become important uh, for the story because of what she's wearing, right? Like, so you can see that she's in brown pants and like a little, little spaghetti tank. strap tank it's top. Like, a like tank sweater is what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But that is actually, that has been manipulated as we have learned. And so I will just show the video that is now, um, I don't think it's available on TikTok anymore, or at least it's private. So I will, let like me start that. Let me get it to the right spot and then big in it. Okay. I don't know how I'm able to see this, but I'm going to try to show wait, you. Wait, wait, make, make the screen, make the screen. So it's, big. I can't, it's on my phone. Uh, I can't. No, I, I, I know, but you. I all, but all I can see is Ted Cruz, the picture of Ted. Can you make it so we go back to like just me and you? Oh, you oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Right. There we go. Hang thank on. you. Is yeah, that better? You. Okay. Yeah, Valen will better. cut that out. See, this is why we don't do live shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay. That's better. That's better. Okay. That's better. So I'm okay, going to, I'm going to show this video on my phone. Cause it's the only way that I can play it. And somehow I don't even know how I can play it. Cause you can't play it even though you sent it to me. No, I can't. It's, <laughs> for some reason I sent it to you and I cannot open it. Like it won't open for me. So it's really interesting. So they've locked it down somehow, but you got some magic touch with it. I don't know. Maybe I apparently have like, magical powers. Apparently. So, and what's interesting is not, it's not even, you know, it's not like a Claudia Conway, look at me skanking it up. It's not like that. It's right. just clearly a 13 year old mentality talking about what's good about being the daughter of a senator, what's bad about it. And so here it is. I got a lot of new followers because of my father. I was thinking I could like pros and cons because some people were asking, I don't know. So some of the good things are we get like candy and gifts in the mail and we also get to travel sometimes. Um, some of the bad things are I literally have to have security following me everywhere. Like if I want to go on a walk through the neighborhood or like to my friend's house or something, I have to have like two security guards behind me the entire time. Also, a lot of people judge me based upon him at first glance, but I really disagree with most of his views. Also on the Christmas card, they literally made my shirt longer. So this is how it's supposed to look. That's it. Got a lot of new followers because so of that, I was that's I could, like, the, you know, body. super scandalous video, right? I mean, it's fine. She's just admitting she disagrees with her dad. She's admitting she likes to wear the skanky little outfits. Right. That's it. Yeah. That's the yeah. big hullabaloo. I mean, she's 13. I, I remember when I was, um, you know, 13, 14, I would try to get out of the house with skirts that were probably shorter than they should have been at yeah. that time. Right. And then I would, you know, there was like the fingertip test, right. Or my dad, you know, would probably be like, eh, yeah. and then I'd be <laughs> like, Oh, but that's, it's totally, it's fine. It's totally fine. My skirt's totally long enough. You know what I mean? So like, listen, I understand, but for a Christmas card, like for a Christmas card, you think that there'd be a conversation where it'd be like, listen, a crop top is probably not the most appropriate thing for a Christmas card, you know? Like, well, if you look at that card, of... it looks like there was a fight about that very thing. <laughs> there probably was. There... <laughs> You're absolutely <laughs> right. You are absolutely correct. So the bottom line is she's probably going through some like teenage angst and it just sucks that it's on the national oldest. stage now. Right. But how do they not have that kind of locked up? You know what I mean? That's what I don't. Yeah. I mean, she does now. It's private now. And I'm sure her parents had something to do with that. But the fact that it was out there ever at all. Yeah. What in the world? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, um, exactly. The youth. This is this is all part of being <clears throat> youthful and having youth. That is something that we have to actually use skincare to try to achieve now. Mm -hmm. And I have an email from Jen Dudek, uh, who wrote, Hi, Mock and Daisy. I am pleased to report that I took advantage of the GenuCell most popular product sale and received my order right before Christmas. It was basically my gift to myself. I got it for a better price than I even imagined. I was so excited to get my order but when I opened the box, I noticed one of the products was missing. So I contacted them and they got back to me immediately, sent me the missing item right away. It has been about three weeks of using GenuCell and I am noticing my skin is much more soft and smooth. My 11s and forehead lines have decreased significantly. My Thank 11. you both for your amazing recommendation. I'm going to take advantage of this great price for the most popular products and grab another set so that I don't run out, which is a, it's great thinking because right now it's still clearance. Right. It's New Year's clearance pricing, and uh -huh. it is still 60% off. 
which is such a great deal. So if you guys can get stuff at 60% off, like get two, get two, load up. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. I always have like an extra set on hand just in case, because I've run out of stuff really easily. So I like to have like two sets of everything on hand. I never used to do that with other skincare. I do that with GenuCell. So there's something well, to and that. Well, 60% off of like super high quality skincare is nothing mm -hmm. to sneeze at. You guys should take right. advantage. Uh, just go to lovegenucell.com slash chicks and you get free shipping too. So, I mean, it's basically the best of all the worlds is what I'm saying. To totally. Yeah, totally. Um, all right. So update <coughs> on Claudia. So I, when I was talking to you about this this morning, I was like, I don't even know what's going on with Claudia. And I am on the TikTok, as you know. And mm -hmm. so you sent me the most disgusting pictures of her from her Instagram. Right. Where I think, was it Halloween? Please tell I, me it was Halloween. I, I hope that it was Halloween because it looked like she had like blood all over her. I mean, it's like, yeah, I hope that it was Halloween. And this is the thing though, right? I mean, it's like you want to tell these, these kids, especially kids who are in the spotlight because of their parents and whatnot, or their parents allow them to be in the spotlight. You want to tell them, no, this is not right. Don't do this, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But then, you know, they get a taste for it. They're allowed to get out there. They get a taste for it or they're, they're um, emboldened to do these things. And then they get all these followers and they're propped up and they make money from it, which I think is precisely what um, Claudia has done. Cause she's, she's made some money off of this. How does and, that, how, how does that well, even work? She's still I, under age. I think TikTokers can do that. I mean, there's a lot of young TikTokers and stuff who have made tons of money on TikTok, you know, just kind of like YouTube, right? Remember the YouTubers, all the young, they, God, these people make way more money than we'll ever imagine making, right? Because these are TikTokers and YouTubers and we don't even know how to do that kind of stuff. I mean, these people are like, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a TikToker and I make millions. It's like, how do you, what, what do you, how do you do that? Well, well and she's got like 1.6 million followers on TikTok. Right. She's also, she's, I mean, she's, they're, this cleavage all over. I mean, this like, there she's, and she's 16. And well, I think that. she's 17 now, but now, still, but she still was doing that when she was 16 years old, which technically she's still, I mean, such a kid, she's a kid, you know? And so, you know, this is the thing is, is that these are, these are kids who are out in the social, social media, like arena, and they're, they're being, um, I don't want to say promiscuous, but they are using, they're using their bodies and their sex appeal to make money. That's what they're doing yeah. in essence. That's what a lot of these, and I just, it's just icky to me. It's icky. I mean, and I'm not even a prude. I'm not. Once you get to a certain age, you do you, I don't really care. But when you're like, a, when you're a kid, I just go, oh, it's just so weird. It's just so weird to me. I just don't like it. I, it's just bizarre. But she's managed to get a really great following by posting very promiscuous pictures and doing the, you know, and doing the TikToks and dissing her mother. And this is, you know, people love it. People eat it up. So well, I, I checked guess. her. I checked her TikTok, and she's not dissing her mother mm -hmm. any longer. And I looked on Twitter. Now she's not active on Twitter anymore. Um, the last post she had was this past summer, but she she left a, a very interesting thread back in July of last summer. Like I don't know if it was a goodbye uh, from Twitter thread or if she just wanted to make this statement and, and just move everything to TikTok, But she said on July 2nd, she said, hello, beautiful people. I have things to say. So I'm going to make this a thread. Every day brings a new start, a new opportunity to project love and forgiveness out to the world. As a young girl in the spotlight, I know I've overlooked that opportunity periodically. My social media presence is far from who I am. I preach love and harmony, and I would never want to use my presence to display malevolent intentions. My family life has been brought into the spotlight, and it should not have. I can report that things are much better. The love I have for my family will never deteriorate. We all have our flaws. We all have our days. We're all human. Time teaches you maturity and forgiveness. It relieves... I think she means it reveals, but she put, it reveals your naivete and ignorance if you allow it to. I have, I'm young, I'm learning. 
Contrary to popular belief, the mainstream media, especially intruding on a teenager's life, only accounts for 0.01% of what's going on. What you see is not always the truth. I took many steps back and handled my personal life offline and things are better than ever. I can finally and fortunately tell you with all the elation in my heart that I'm happy, safe, forgiveness has taught me a lot. I love my mother and she will always inspire me despite our public conflicts. I'm proud that we're living proof of breaking the cycle I'm excited to see what this life has to offer. I want to use my presence to spread light, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I love all of you beautiful people endlessly, especially those who doubt me. Thank you for your love and support. Isn't that and wonderful? That like, that's wonderful, right? I mean, I love that. I think that's great. But the fact is, is that people will always remember her as, it's like the whole putting the toothpaste back in the tube. People always remember her as hating her mother and all that terrible stuff. She got popular and she got all the notoriety by hating the the her Republican mother. You see what I'm yeah. saying? And so that's what's a huge shame is that. And so now we're seeing it happen again with Caroline Cruz is like the media jumped. I mean, can't she see that they used her? They used her. Well, it was they, it was a very symbiotic using, right? Because she used yeah. the public to gain fame to and gain fortune fame. and yeah. yeah. But it was all in the in the name of, you know, sort of I hate this whole notion of conservatism. I hate conservatism. I hate my, my mom, who's a Republican. I hate Trump. I hate everything that these people stand for. And, um, and I'm going to jump on that bandwagon to gain this popularity, which she did. Mm. And which I, I think that, I, I mean, I don't, right or wrong, it, it, that's what happened. And then the media gave her that attention and she got that popularity and she rode that wave, which I guess is but but she's admitting now I was a child and I'm growing. And so by the time she gets to be in her 20s, she may look back and be like, that was, I don't know. We don't know what she's going to look back and say. But the fact, I'm glad that she's getting along with her mom. And I mean, I would have, honestly, I would have probably surmised that she would have. But it just sucks that she had to do that out in the open in front of everybody. Yeah. You know? Well, like, and it's I, interesting too, because now ever since, I guess it was, um, well, she was, I saw TikToks of hers in November and then there was a break and now she's back. And again, they're all just like, here are my boobs. Here's me dancing provocatively. Here's me like right. looking like I want to have sex with the camera. That's her entire persona on right. TikTok. And so, you know, it's, it's so interesting to me because I'm like, so is this what feminists wanted is for women to display their sexuality in order to cave to the patriarchy because that's exactly what they're doing. They're yeah. literally giving men what they want and, mm -hmm. and then trying to say, look at me, strong, powerful woman. Right. I've been like, how do they square that? You know what and I then mean? They say, and then they say, don't look at me. Don't look at this. Don't, you don't, don't objectify me. It's like, what? pick a lane. <laughs> Pick a freaking right. lane. Like, I, like, we don't, I don't understand what they're doing. Like, none of us do. We don't understand what they're doing because they're constantly, they're going against what everything. It's this or it's this. It's like mm -hmm. one day they're, I mean, they have a split personality. Feminists yeah. basically have a split person. I can't, this is why I can't take them seriously. Nobody can. If you have a, a shred of intelligence in your brain, you cannot take them seriously at all. So yeah, it's, I just, I don't know. I mean, I wish, listen, I wish her the best. And I, and I hate it for Caroline Cruz because I know that she's, what we see is she's starting to follow in the footsteps, although she hasn't really started putting a lot of the skanky pictures up yet. Um, I hope that she doesn't do that. Well, I she's showing she up in some of her friends' TikToks wearing clothes that I cannot believe Ted Cruz would have allowed her out of the house in. But right. again, not, I mean, that's not my kid. And, and like, there, and it's, but it's funny that you, when you say that, like if people listen to this and they're on the left, they'll be like, that is so on brand. Like people will say that because they'll say those chicks are so, pr they're prudish. I can't, you know, it's like, of course they, I bet you they don't let their kids wear, you know, cause well, you have boys, but I mean, I have a, I have two girls and I bet they would say that Daisy probably doesn't let her girls, you know, wear short shorts at school. No, I, I mean, I don't. <laughs> One, because my daughter is it. She goes to public school and she has a dress code. I mean, you know, it's like they have a dress code there. But even so, she's 11 years old, 11, 12, 13. When she's 16, there are certain things I don't want her wearing. While she's under this roof, I just don't want her. You know, mm -hmm. it's like there's a, there's a certain way you want to carry yourself. You don't want to look like a skank. I don't think there's anything right. wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong with with raising a girl to to not be that way. I think that's okay. I don't think there's, I think you should be proud of that as a woman. You wanna be 
bright and you want to carry yourself with, you know, composure and decency and, and have some sense of, I mean, I, it's not even, I don't want to say modesty because we've had fights with people about that before, you know, but I mean, I just, I, there's just, there's a line, right? There's a yeah. line. And when, when you're 15, 16 years old and you're out there like shaking your boobs, I just, I don't know. It's you're still a kid, <laughs> man. You're still a kid. And that is just weird to me. It's just weird. I know. Well, you're still a kid and you're still like in your parents' house. Your parents are like giving you dinner. They're telling you to eat your veggies and to also eat your meat. And the best yes. place to get all the meat is omahasteaks.com. And if you use keyword chicks in the search field at omahasteaks.com, you'll get 50% off of the Heartland Favorites pack. That's got all the good stuff in it. All of it. God, I love it. Does this one have the... um? the tartlets in it does it mm -hmm. because the apple mm -hmm. tartlets are i mean you can have those for breakfast you guys they're so great you're gonna get them and you're gonna be like i need to have these every day and their chicken know, breasts right? are amazing too listen omaha steaks is known for their steaks but their chicken breasts are to die for they're so and good. they're pork chops everything yes. from there is so good it's so well packaged mm -hmm. and so if you're struggling with you know finding things at the grocery store just order yourself stuff from Omaha Steaks. You know you're going to get it shipped straight to your door. It's right. so handy. And 50% off right now. Plus, you get four free chops and four chicken breasts for free when you order that Heartland Favorites Pack using keyword chicks at omahasteaks.com. Yes. So do that. Stuff. Okay. Today. So, I mean, I think we were pretty kind. I think we were somewhat kind. Don't you think? Yeah. I mean, I mean uh, listen, it's hard not to judge a little bit. It's hard not to judge and just be like, how are you letting a 13-year-old be on TikTok saying these things on a public account? How? Well, I think, listen, I think that's, I think a lot of parents feel pressure to let their kids do social media mock. A lot of kids, a lot of kids are on it. And a lot of parents are like, well, all the kids are doing it. And so, I mean, as younger and younger kids are getting on these social media platforms. Um just like a younger and younger kids are getting phones and then they're finding ways yeah. on the social media platform. So, you know, parents just have to be super diligent, right? If you want to keep your kids off these, these platforms, you have to stop them. If they find ways on them, they find their kids are going to be kids. Teenagers are going to be even worse, right? I mean, they're going to, they're going to sneak around and they're going to find ways on these platforms. But I just, but once you see that they're on there, Oh, God, you should be like, monitoring and like saying, this is not okay. Uh, this needs to be private. You can't be just saying all the things. What are you doing? Right. right. We got a that review on our Apple did? podcast platform. We did. Uh, someone said, this is Jana Howard wrote uh, about our podcast, great fun and funny way of getting my daily news. And so we appreciate Sometimes. that. Anytime you leave a comment or a review on the iTunes, Apple podcast platform, that is super helpful for us. So that we appreciate very, very helpful. that yes. very, very much. We love it. We love reviews. So keep them coming. And all the places that people can find us, first and foremost, go to our website, you guys. That's like the one the big place where you can find all things chicks. Okay. So that's chicks on the right.com. Um, and then our Facebook page, we have like a gajillion Facebook pages. We have our regular <laughs> Facebook page, which is chicks on the right. Then we have a chicks on the right group page. And then we have a chicks on the right um, insiders page, which is really cool for like a nominal fee. You can um, join this fantastic group of people and it's troll free it's an amazing group of folks that are like-minded it's very safe i mean not to sound like a, a liberal hippie or anything but it's a very safe place where you could go in there and you, it's they're just wonderful friends they visit each other they pray for each other they're fantastic it's just they're awesome awesome people so that's a great option for you if you're into that and then uh, what are some other places that people can find us mock well, we're on the Twitter, the Rumble, the Getter, the Parlor, all of that at Instagram at Chicks on Right. And if you are virulently opposed to Facebook, which I know a lot of people are, we are hoping to eventually migrate all of our folks to locals. And you yes. can find us at locals.com. Chicks on the Right is our community there. And that is also going to be an insider, if you will, community that we're hoping to build up uh, within the next couple of months. We're going to be posting some exclusive content there just for subscribers. Subscribers. So really hoping to build up that platform um, once we can dedicate all of our time to our Chicks on the Right endeavors. In February, coming soon. Yay! So you guys have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you next week.